In the wintertime, there is nothing you need more than comfort food. Bisques, grilled cheeses, exactly what I'm about to show you how to make, so come join me. The beginning to any great recipe is great ingredients. Make sure every single one of them are excellent. Think about it, if your recipe only called for one ingredient, and that ingredient was no good, how's it gonna taste? I always start off with a nice clean workstation and a very sharp knife. So we're gonna begin by roasting butternut squash, onions, and carrots. When I'm using fresh spices, I have to grate it fresh. Same way you use fresh cracked pepper. So we have fully seasoned vegetables, olive oil, salt, pepper, curry powder, cinnamon, fresh nutmeg right off the grater, mustard seed. We're gonna take these beautifully coated vegetables and pop them in the oven. That's about 400 degrees for 45 minutes. Okay, so our beautiful vegetables are all finished roasting. Look at this, shiny. Got some nice golden brown caramelization. I'm gonna put these directly into a cast iron pan or any kind of casserole dish that you might have. So that is the base to our delicious butternut squash soup. So I'm gonna add this entire carton of chicken stock and we're gonna bring this to a boil. So while we're waiting for our soup to come to a boil, I'm gonna prep up some fresh herbs. This is fresh thyme. These live herbs are so fresh and delicate, I don't have to take the stem out. I can run my knife right through it and those are fully edible, just as is. This is rosemary. It's gonna add a nice aromatic essence to the soup. Oh yeah. Oh man, it smells good. So all we have left to do here is add these vegetables to the blender. Make sure that lid's on there nice and tight because the soup is gonna be hot. Add this soup directly back into my pot. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of heavy cream and what that's gonna do is add some richness and also give it that indicative bisque flavor. Well seasoned, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the lid on it, turn down the heat to a simmer and go make some grilled cheese. So there's an appropriate knife for every situation. In this case, bread. I want a bread knife. Let's grab one. A bread knife is loaded with serrations. That helps you cut through coarse, dense materials, like a rustic loaf of bread. See how easy that was? So the perfect accoutrement to this beautiful holiday soup is gonna be a grilled cheese. I like to go 50-50 Gruyere Jarlsberg. To make the sandwiches, doesn't get any simpler. Two slices of bread, pinch of the Gruyere, pinch of the Jarlsberg, put it back on top, okay? Press it down. One thing I like to do is I'll put a little cheese on top, okay? Press it in. Flip it over, do it again, press it in. That's gonna make a delicious grilled cheese sandwich. One thing I like to do is put the butter right in the pan. When you got a nice hot pan, get all your butter down. Now we can take these beautiful grilled cheeses and let them soak all that up. See how easy that is? A very lavish grilled cheese. The cheese over here on the corners is gonna cook down, melt, burn, caramelize into this nice crunchy crust. Oh, mama. Look at that, beautiful golden brown. No need to spread butter on the bread. It all happens right there in the pan. Look how the cheese has been burnt to the outside of that sandwich. Oh my gosh, looks so good. Cut them on a bias. Give it this nice presentation. Look at this, right? I'm gonna add a little bit of creme fraiche. This is a nice way to finish a bisque. Some chives. Pepitas, these are already salted and roasted. Huh? Finish with a little piece of thyme. Isn't that beautiful? Nothing left to do now but dip that little toast point. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Winter food at its finest. Comfort food. When you're freezing your butt off, this just brings you back to life. 